All right, good evening, everybody. It's your boy Akeem, and welcome to tonight's and this upcoming morning's blogs. Here to talk about the Sun Belt Conference for the 2016 college football season. I'm going to be up all night to give you 11 blogs for tonight and heading into tomorrow morning. Now, I'm going to start things off with the Sun Belt champion, Arkansas State Red Wolves. They had a great season under head coach Blake Anderson, who I believe is entering his third year as head coach. They went 8-0 in conference play, 9-4 overall, before losing in the New Orleans Bowl to Louisiana Tech. Now, they're looking to win a second consecutive Sun Belt uh, championship, and this is going to be an interesting season because they have some players that they have to fill in voids um, this upcoming season. There's one particular at quarterback. Freddie Nikens no longer with the team. He was second team all-conference at quarterback with 19 touchdown passes to um, 9 interceptions. But they did recruit Justin Hardson out of Butler Community College to join the team this upcoming season. Now, there are some other players offensively that they're going to fill in some voids, but I think they're going to be just fine. They do have the return of a couple of offensive linemen and all-conference players and offensive tackle Jamar Clark as well as Colton Jackson. Both of these two players were first-team all-conference, respectively. And they also did lose some players in the uh, far as their skill players, Trey Houston and J.D. McKissick, particularly McKissick as a return specialist. They're no longer with the team, which means second-leading receiver Deshaun Pacho and um, newcomer uh, Cameron um, Echoes Looper is going to have to step it up. Pastor should be the leading target with um, Cameron Echoes Looper, who's actually a familiar name, coming out of TCU. This kid is a speedster, run a 6 8 9 60 meter. This kid is very fast. He will be used in special teams and used as wide receiver this upcoming season. They also lost uh, Michael Gordon, who was second team all conference at running back, but they do have a couple players behind him, and Warren Wayne, who was a sophomore who had was second in the team in rushing and just Johnston White who should probably be the premier rusher this upcoming season now he just had just over 600 yards on the ground but 14 rushing touchdowns that shows his uses particularly in goal line situations now let's take a look at the defensive unit they actually have a couple of three straight starters from each level of the defense who would definitely lead this team starting with on defensive end and the D line uh, Javon Roland J uh, um, uh, Jones, who had nine sacks last season. At linebacker is Xavier Woodson Luster. He's definitely going to be tro controlling the middle. He's a pretty decent linebacker. He was second team all conference last season. And Cody Brown, who was second team all conference in the defensive back position. So that shows they have good leadership in each levels in the defensive. I think defense defense are going to be just fine this upcoming season. We're just going to see what mainly happens with at heart uh, with um Hanson at the under the helm at quarterback. Now let's take a look at their schedule. On September 3rd, they're going to have to play against Toledo, who beat and spanked on the Red Bulls early on last season. And September 10th is going to be a game at Auburn. I think that game is going to be a loss for them, but this is a definitely good warm-upper. October the 5th, this is going to be the biggest test of the season in conference play. They did not have to deal with them last season, but they will have to deal with them this year. And Georgia Southern, that is going to be a scare. And on November 26th against Louisiana Tech at La Tech. Uh, Louisiana Lafayette, I apologize for that. Louisiana Lafayette actually lost 37-27 to last season, but kept the game pretty close against the Red Wolves. So that was a scare, but this time, uh, Louisiana Lafayette actually has the home field advantage. So that could be an upset alert for the Red Wolves. Now, when looking at their schedule, I definitely see them getting at least nine wins in the season. I think they're going to go nine and three overall, just like how they did last season. I really think they're going to lose to Auburn, and they're going to lose to Georgia Southern this upcoming season so I think they're going to go 10 and 2 at best but they might lose one more game like the first game of the season against Toledo like they did last year I think they're going to go 9 and 3 10 and 2 at best now the next time I'm going to catch you guys will be in just a couple of minutes I have 10 more blogs for today thank you for watching this blog I'm your man Akeem McCall be easy